Hello, hello friends. This is Becky with Becky Budgets. I owe you all an explanation. I have had to take the last week off from filming and I did take the time away from budgeting because of having some issues uh, with my mental health. That being said, taking a look at my word of the year, which is consistency, I decided that it's time to go ahead and share with you all what decisions we've made and how things are going to go moving forward. Last Tuesday, I had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with um, the chief of our division, who is a really, really good friend of mine. Um, we've been working together for 13 years already. And it was brought to my attention that I am depressed and I hadn't put much thought to it. Uh, but uh, after getting that information, I realized that yes, I am in fact depressed. The medications uh, for my next IVF cycle had come in and I couldn't take my mind off of the fact that I was just getting ready for failure, which is the wrong mindset and the wrong state of mind to be in, uh, especially after taking that three month break. Anyways, um, I reached out to my uh, primary care provider, who is awesome, and uh, along with my husband, decided that uh, in order to get the best outcomes this next cycle, um, I was going to incorporate some things into the next month. So uh, the first thing that we went ahead and started was acupuncture. Now the acupuncture is being used in order to keep my migraines at bay and also to keep my stress level lower. Um, so we did start that. I've had two acupuncture treatments so far. Um, number two, along with my manager, we took a look at how much uh, paid time off and how much um, extended illness pay I have in the bank. And basically we um, figured out that I can take the next month off of work so I'm going to be taking the next month off of work the whole month of May in order to not have any stress and only um, work on myself while we do this next cycle of IVF now it is within my budgeted paid time off and our fiscal year resets in July. So taking a look at this, I will also be able to kind of make up that time if I were to get pregnant um, in order to have the full three months off post um, baby as maternity leave. So that is another decision that we had made and then the last thing that we decided is that I am going to take the month of May to work on myself. Now, what does this mean? In order to be my best self, I need to be happy. 
<laughs> not that I'm not happy. I just, I've been through a lot within the last year and it has caught up with me. So this month I have um, decided to go out more. Um, so I'm gonna be going on walks and hikes with the pups. Also, let me get Leo up because he is wanting to play. I'm also watching what I eat and trying to drink more water. Things that I have been really wanting to do but haven't been consistent with, consistency, I am working to get there. So I have upped my water, I have stayed consistent on taking my medication, uh, exercise is something that I'm going to do consistently. Getting in for acupuncture, which seems to be helping me a lot. And um, it has started working. So just going to keep through this month and make sure that I do the things that I need to do in order to um, truly be able to let go of what outcomes will be and just make sure that I do the best so that those outcomes are good. Anyways, my friends, um, in my budget, you are gonna notice a little change. So I did not do a budget for the first week of May, mostly because I knew that uh, the pay was going to fluctuate. So up until this last month, we had been short staffed and we were getting paid an overtime differential. Now that overtime has been uh, taken away now because we are fully staffed. And I knew that my paycheck was going to be lower than what my minimum has been throughout this whole time. So I'm going to go ahead and film our week one uh, for May with actual numbers. So there's not going to be a budgeted amount there. And then I'll also be posting the closeout for April and the um, monthly setup for May. These are things that I have not done. And another thing that I kind of stepped back from was tracking our spending. So that's one thing that I did not finish out for the month of, of April. Um, I don't think that I'm gonna be tracking it in May only because I'm gonna be home which means that I'm gonna be cooking more. And the goal is to kind of cook through everything we have in our freezer and not eat out and things like that. So um, hopefully that keeps our spending at bay. And yeah, um, we are gonna be a little stretched because these appointments are um, twice a week and I pay $30 for each one. And then starting the IVF journey, as you know, that IVF journey takes, um, we spend about $700 on there. So <coughs> I've already spent $400 on the medication. So now it's gonna be $40 copays every time I go in. So that is something that we're probably gonna be uh, struggling with, but I do keep that on a separate account. So hopefully we can still put in the $50 a week towards medical so that we can offset this as much as possible. Anyways, my friends, thank you so very much for um, sending me messages. I know that a lot of you have been a little worried I'm still here. I just had to kind of get my thoughts into words and I will be posting a lot of videos coming up as I pick up where I left off um, the last week in April and move on to May. 
Okay, friends, I will see you soon. And I hope each and every one of you is having an amazing week. <laughs> Bye, friends.